Uh, welcome to the vlog, welcome to Whiteman Park today. We're heading off to Cavisham Wildlife Park and this might be a special video because Tim's here already apparently. <laughs> um, so uh, I'd be interested to see what's happening. Already we've seen lots of development in Whiteman Park. They've got they've got a steam train going off in the background but we've seen the train line from Perth heading out that way as well so they've blocked off lots of uh, entrances to Whiteman Park. Uh, so it'd be really interesting to check out see where the train line has gone so there's lots of wildlife out and about today it's a bit drizzly so it might rain so we're all like rugged up for that but the sun's out too at the moment as well and don't forget guys if you do go to Cavisham Wildlife Park don't forget to ask for a frequent visitor card so you can get a discount on the well you get in for free the fourth entry cool okay That's should we go in hell and are you going to ask for a frequent entry card thing yeah yeah cool. okay let's get in there apparently the deal's changed um uh i think if you've already got a card you can keep it but some poor people some poor people you have to buy a multi-pass instead i think we should in. go out before it rains oh i see what you mean like not out of the park but no. into the park into the so you want to see the kangaroos first is that what you're trying to tell me so go that way no kangaroos are like that way well, cool. apparently the farm shows at one o'clock. Yeah. But I'm not a big farm show person. Like, yeah. That so was one we saw, wasn't we, it? Yeah, we did see it. Yeah, I, I do like one bad friends. Okay, shall we go and visit kangaroos? Yeah, that's always good value. Okay, let's go visit some kangaroos. Um, yeah, it looks like there's yes. a lot of people, and yeah, there are a lot cool, of people but here typically, today. Typically, as you said in the video above, yeah, you go the far away. You walk, yeah. There's less people. So, so, and the really cool thing about um, Cavisham is the roof food is for free, so your ticket pays for that. But it does mean we'll probably have to grab a handful and head to the furthest distance possible, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're going down the very, 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 very far end, but also too, it's really muddy. Uh, so, uh, right, watch shoes. out for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you, you, wow. It kind of reminds me of the time um, I saw uh, at Leeds United at a Perth Zoo, and they all had their $500 trainers on and they oh, were yeah. trying to dodge the paddles. It was hilarious. Baby kangaroo. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, so cute. Yeah. What are these? These are wallabies. Tiny, tiny little wallabies. What are you saying? Poor mum is overloaded with the baby. Maybe it's time to keep the baby out of home. Well, not if they avoid paying rent. Cause, or, or like that way they can save up for a home loan and going, going to the Avery. Lots of good Averys oh. here at uh, Cavisham Wildlife Park. Little wallabies hiding in the grass. There's one over there, it's just like contemplating life. <laughs> Going to visit the tree kangaroo now. What do we got here, Ian? Bees, there's a peacock in the corner, some crows. This whole time we can smell the uh, steam from the steam engine and it's just gone off again. And you can hear it. 
and you can hear it too, which is really enticing. You're kind of like, oh, I really want to um, go for a ride the steam engine as you do. And oh, a, si- a, a, a planning Simon I did yeah. for the area, I remember. Oh yeah. It was out the front of Whiteman Park, and we proposed as part of our proposal, steam train should be extended all the way to the front of Whiteman Park. Yeah. Where the train station is, so you could get off the train, jump on the steam train, oh, that's and go clever. into Whiteman Park. Yeah, you were saying like. Um, so the, uh, the the transfer train line should link up with the steam train, train yeah. line. Yeah, it's a interesting park. idea. So you don't have to walk. Yeah. We're entering the dark. problem with this weather yeah it goes between hot and cold very quickly uh, obviously if you're in the uh, reptile house it's very hot that is the queue to get into wombat and friends which starts in five minutes but probably the good idea is to wait until the queue goes in then go in because there's plenty is of room that the show inside we see? it's not a show it's kind of like a uh, meet and greet with animals okay yeah so you get lots of good photos and close-ups and if you want to like pat the back of a uh, wombat you can hence wombat and friends so we will go in just a minute, but we'll wait the crowd go in first, yeah. Okay, there's a huge queue for Wombat Friends, so we're going to spend a couple of minutes meeting our friends inside the barn or whatever. It's a very cute experience, lots of goats uh, and other baby animals, so very cute. So we'll go there first and then we'll come back there because the Wombat and Friends is usually open about 20 minutes, half hour. They're talking, they're, let's hit the wombats the before they close the door. It's yep, probably pretty busy in there. Okay, so we're nearly there. We've got wombats, koalas, and some other cool animals left to see. Lots of birds as well, so mm-hmm. let's enjoy that. I believe as big as uh, the koala place was, they're actually expanding it. Yeah, More koalas. Meet the koalas. Yeah. Area yeah. under construction. Well, this We're bringing you breaking news at Cabin Wildlife Park. Yeah, expansion plans expansion there. Plans. Yeah. Going to exit through the gift shop. That was your day, Tim. It was great. Cool. You see lots of animals and stuff. I'm, we did, which I'm glad because yeah, it, you always it do. Is, it's, yeah. it's a wildlife park. It's well designed, so the animals are going to be places where we see them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get opportunities like the wombat and friends. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really like that one more than the farm show. Farm shows, your typical kind of like, you know, touristy. Yeah. If you haven't been to Australia, haven't seen a farm before. 
that yeah. kind of thing. So I do, I do really rate warm bat and friends. But let us know if you've come to Caversham Wildlife Park and if you've seen warm bat and friends, or if you've been to some other zoos where you live. Yeah. Let us know and compare in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification on when there's a video ready for you to view. And we'll see you in the next and one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just waking up. That bad head. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Someone's trying to be in the start of the video. Look at you going, buddy. Some places expand, and some places expand their ticket price. Yeah.